Hello, hello! This is the Valley and Travels channel. Thank you very much for subscribing and making so many views for our latest video for makeup. Today we're gonna show you the trip in Hawaii. We went to Hawaii on March 2020 last year and it was an amazing experience for all of us to see this big island of Hawaii. Departured from San Diego Airport and arrived to Hawaii Big Island. Everyone has to see this uh, big island of Hawaii, which is an amazing top destination for everyone. Let's get started to Hawaii Aloha State. I'm so excited to show you all the beautiful places that we visited. We started the visit from Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park is an American national park located in the U.S. state of Hawaii on the Big Island. The park encompasses two active volcanoes, Kilauea, one of the world's most active volcanoes, and Mauna Loa, the world's most massive silt volcano. The park provides scientists with insight into the development of the Hawaiian Islands and accesses for studies of volcanism. For visitors, the park offers dramatic volcanic landscapes, glimpses of rare flora and fauna, and a view into the traditional Hawaiian culture connected to these landscapes. The park was originally established on August 1, 1916 as Hawaii National Park which was then split into this park and Haleo Kala National Park. In recognition of its outstanding natural values, Hawaii Volcanoes Natural Park was designed as an international biosphere reserve in 1980 and a World Heritage Site in 1987. In 2012, the park was depicted on the 14th quarter of the America the Beautiful Quarter series. On May 11, 2018, the park was closed to the public in the Kilauea Volcano Shumit area, including the visitor center and park headquarters, due to explosions and toxic ash clouds from Halema Umau, as well as the earthquakes and road damage. Portions of the park, including the visitor center, reopened to the public on September 22, 2018. As of the 2020, most of the park is open. However, some road segments and trails, as well as the Jagger Museum of the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, remain closed to the visitors. You can see the burnt lava everywhere. Eruptive activity, ground collapses and explosions in the park ceased in early August of 2018 and the full and the lull in eruptive activity of Kilauea continued until the eruption on December 20, 2020 at the Helema Uma U crater. We made a stop for some traditional dishes rice, pasta, and soup. Some vegetables in pie. It was delicious, amazing. of the nature's most awe-inspiring wonders at Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Located 45 miles southwest of Hilo, the park is home to two volcanoes including Kilauea, one of the most active volcanoes on Earth. The chance to witness the primal process of creation and destruction makes it one of the most popular visitor attractions in Hawaii and a sacred place. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park encompasses 3,035, 2,000, 
259 acres or about 523 square miles from the summit of Mauna Loa to the sea. Discover 150 miles of hiking trails through volcanic craters, scalded deserts and rainforests, as well as the visitor center, petroglyphs and two active volcanoes. Mauna Loa, which last erupted in 1984, and Kilauea, which last erupted in 2018. Kilauea is often called the world's only driving volcano. At one time, this prolific volcano produced 2,050,000 to 650,000 cubic yards of lava per day enough to, to resurface a 20 mile long two lane road each day. As of January 1983, more than 875 acres of new land has been created on the island of Hawaii. Begin your visit at the Kilauea Visitor Center for a great introduction to the park. Ranger talks are offer, are offer, hide the suggestions of the day, and range of guided activities, pick up maps, learn about park hikes, and get the latest volcano updates. Crater Rim Drive is the 10.6 mile drive that circles Kilauea Caldera. Driving around this loop will take you to the park's main attractions. The Uruguay Overlook the Vestation Trail and Kilauea Iti Crater Overlook. Enjoy more beaches of Captain Cook. Beaches in the Big Island's Captain Cook area are all excellent for various water sports, including rental kayaking and two have great amenities for a full day at the beach with a fat picnic lunch. All are fairly busy beaches, even the harder to reach ones, so plan ahead if you are looking for solitude. Tourists flock to Kela, Keto Bay State Historical Park to kayak, go on kayak tours to the monument or to sneak simply snorkel. The park is exactly at the, at the intersection where Beach Road intersects with Nako Oppo Oppo Road. This is a parking lot with a boat launch right at the intersection. And the two yards is the historical park with bathrooms, showers, picnic areas, drinking water, and an ample, ample parking area. Given the proximity to the reef, the snorkeling here is excellent. And depending on the season, it's common to see dolphins swimming up next to you. 
the kayaking here is some of the easiest ocean kayaking, so it's suitable for novices. It's required that you obtain a clean to land at the moment across the bay. Visitors do not need to acquire their own permits when renting a kayak. Let us stop for Poké Sushi. Renting a kayak must Heading down the hill, you will find Waluku River State Park. Waluku River State Park boasts two main attractions, bowling pots and rainbow falls. Bowling pots is a succession of big pools connected by underground flow or cascades, and those waters roll and bubble making it disappear like it's bowling. The columns that line the pools were formed by the slow cooling of lava. The 80 root rainbow falls is renowned for the rainbow form from the rainbow that can be seen at around 10 a.m. on sunny days due to the mist of the waterfall. Legends say that the cave beneath the waterfall was the home of Hina, an ancient Hawaiian goddess. Amazing. We climbed up to the trees to enjoy the nature's power. The energy that we took was amazing. Absolutely the first time in my life that felt like this. You have to enjoy, you have to climb up to the trees to feel the power of nature. What is under there? Explore the most popular train trails in Hilo Forest Reserve with hand curated trail maps and driving directions, as well as detailed reviews and photos from hikers, campers, and natural roll ro lovers like you. The Hilo Forest Reserve is comprised of approximately 60. 4,000 acres Whoa! of public land and was established by government in July 14, 1905 for the purpose of watershed detection. <laughs> the reserve is comprised of nine sections in northeast Hawaii, which are listed. Some of them are Weather Said Reserve, Kaiwiki, Piha, Laupahoehoe, Kumaula. Kukuau, Kamae, Opea, and Kauku. We headed down to see the Akaka Falls. will take you through a luxuring forest filled with wild orchids, bamboo grooves and dropping ferns. As you follow the paved footpath, you will first see a 100 foot Kahuna Falls. After that, after that don't miss to, to, to visit Kamawela, Hawaii.
also known as Waimea, is the biggest town on the north side of the Big Island. This part of the, this part of the island is made out of the oldest of five volcanoes that made up the Big Island Kohala. The climate here is at, at 2,500 plus feet, sometimes reminds of the Scottish Highlands with temperatures and on average a bit cooler compared to the rest of the island and low clouds often obscuring the rolling lush pastures. Waimea is a northern country and the home to some of the most scenic hikes on the Big Island. Panyolos are the Hawaiian cowboys and Waimea is a great place to, to saddle up and explore the rolling hills or ragged scout coastline on horseback or with hiking boots. Until recently, Waimea was a company town and its life was largely determined by the Parker Ranch. With 135,000 acres, the Parker Ranch is now one of the biggest cattle ranches in the United States. There lingers still a strong ranch town atmosphere in Waimea. You can sample it in many restaurants, gift shops and cowboy clothing stores to thrive in this community. If you are looking for a waterfall near downtown Hilo, take a short drive west on Waimea Avenue to Wailuku River State Park. Here you will discover an easy accessible 80 foot waterfall known as Wainunu or Rainbow River. Rainbow Falls was so named because on sunny mornings around 10 a.m. rainbows can be seen in the mist thrown up by the waterfall. Travel further, a plant along the Wailuku River and you will find PP Falls which feeds the most the famous pools known as boiling pots. These terraced pools bubble as if they were boiling connected by a series of cascading water flows alongside hexagonal columns formed by the slow cooling of basalt lava. As beautiful as when menu and boil, boiling pots are, note there are no lifeguards in beauty and neither area is safe for swimming. Instead, take a moment and simply enjoy the natural beauty found in Waluku River State Park. We drove down to visit Kukui Haele Park Improvements. Placement basketball court. The project includes improved side access, ADA walkways and sidewalks, additional parking areas and retaining walls. The effective teamwork between SSFM as prime consultants, the county and contractor resulted in a beautiful community park.
we ended up to a beach. Hapuna Beach. Hapuna Beach is one of the island of Hawaii's most expansive white sand beaches. It is along the Kohala coast. It was open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily. The following day we visited Puaco Beach. Puaco is a small oceanfront community on the Big Island's Kohala coast. The town is one of Hawaii's best kept secrets, known for its crystal clear cobalt blue waters and top notch snorkeling and diving conditions. Hapuna Beach, one of the nicest white sand beaches on the island, is a stone's throw away from Puaco. This area is one of the driest on the Big Island, receiving only about 10 inches of rain per year. Puaco's main attraction, though, is its large, co large collection of intricate petroglyphs carved into volcanic rocks. At the Puaco Petroglyph Field, Visitors can see over 3,000 breathtaking vestiges of these ancient rock grounds. The community has a mixture of working class homes as well as few upscale mansions and vacation rentals. When it comes to shopping, there aren't many options. Here, as there is just one general store. Hokuloa Church is located right on Puaco Road. It was built in 18559, who was very knowledgeable in the Hawaiian language. The best way to enjoy the charm of Puaka of Pukao is to stroll along its shore and explore the many tide pools, which are home to a wide variety of marine life. Offshore is one of the most near shore scuba diving locations on the big island with many caverns, lava tubes and fantastic reef to explore. We headed down to Kalaoa. Kalaoa is a central designated place in Hawaii County, Hawaii, United States. The population was 9,644 as of the 2010 census up from 6,794 residents at the 2000 census. Palau is located on the west side of the island of Hawaii. It is bordered to the south by Kailua Kona and Waimea is 33 meter miles to the northeast. Kalaoa sits on the lower western slopes of the Haolai volcano and extends west to the Pacific Ocean. According to the United States Census Bureau, the CDP has a total area of 45.6 square meters of which 39.2 square miles are land and 6.4 square miles or 14.13% are water. We arrived to the amazing Mahayula Beach. Mahayula Beach is part of the Kehaha Kai State Park on the Big Island's west coast. It is located about two miles north of the Kona Airport and is accessible via a rugged dirt road. This white sand beach is backed by trees, which reach down almost to the water's edge, so there are some shady spots. The swimming conditions are usually good when the ocean is calm. From the beach, a coastal lava trail leads north to neighboring Mataleuna Beach, about 15 to 20 minute walk. Next to this is Kekaha Kai State Park. Kigaha Kai State Park is a large and relatively undeveloped beach park north of Kalua Kona. Formerly known as Kona Coast State Park, the name Kikaha Kai comes from the Hawaiian phrase Kekaha Kai, meaning the shore line. This state park has some of the best beaches on the island. 
the long tour of Kekaha, Ke, Keha, Kekaha described below allows you to visit three world-class beaches a blood shine beach two ponds and also climb a 30 hundred 342 foot high pool this is a long hike and a way to visit the entire park in one big push but it's possible to visit these locations individually the weather was amazing Another gear for a long hike, bring plenty of water and sun protection. The trail is rough and rocky, so wear your boots. We stayed there until late at night. It was our last day. The following day we arrived to San Diego, back in time, and we will make a video next time for San Diego, an amazing city, classy and safe. amazing trip to Hawaii. The following day we fly back to San Diego. In our next video you will see the beauties of San Diego. I promise you. If you like this video please subscribe and ring the bell so that you can watch our videos for travels and Nefeli Nefeli's tips. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye!